egy szerény hang. Paula was born in Budapest, Hungary, November 19, 1897. november 19-én Magyarországon született Budapesten. Paula, all of four feet eight inches tall, traveled all around the world and photographed with a Rolleiflex camera until the age of 85. Paula négy láb nyolc inch magas. Körbeutazta a világot, és fényképezett Rolleiflex gépével egészen 85 éves koráig. Paula was asked, why do you think you've lived to 100 years old? She said, I don't think about it. Do you worry? She said, I never worry about situations I can't control. I do what I can do, and then whatever happens, happens. Egyszer megkérdezték Paulát, no, miért hiszed, hogy száz éve fogsz élni? Erre azt válaszolta, én erre nem gondolok. Miért? Ez téged izgat? Tudod, én soha se idegeskedek olyan dolgokon, amelyek nem tőlem függenek. Én csak azt teszem, amit tehet. Aztán, ami történik, az történik. So why a story about an unknown artist photographer who just turned 100 years old? In life, it's not important to be rich and famous, but to follow one's passions and live life to one's fullest potential. This is true success. Paula Wright worked really hard and lived the American dream. Tehát miért is beszélünk egy ismeretlen fotóművészről, aki most lépett életének századik évében? Az életben nem a pénz és a hírnév a legfontosabb, hanem az, hogy a szenvedélyének hódolhasson az ember a legteljesebb odaadással. Paula valóban keményen megdolgozott ezért, és megélte az amerikai álmot. A little bird flies high, flies low, titter tatter, goes slow, goes fast, no matter, home at last. Kis madár, fent száll, lent száll, csip csirik, csip csirik, lassan repül, gyorsan repül, mit számít az? Végül hazatalál. Hello, my name is Lauren Ellis and I'm a friend of this lovely lady next to me. Her name is Paula Wright and it's my honor to introduce you to Paula. She celebrated her 100th birthday on November 19th, 1997 and she's a very accomplished photographer and a friend of mine for 10 years. So I thought it would be interesting to meet her and hear what she has to say about her life and to see some of her work. And I'd like to introduce Paula. Paula, say hello. Hello. So, Paula, tell me, you were born? In Budapest, Hungary, Europe. And um, you studied art as a young girl? I went to art school for a few years in Budapest. And then I began photography. And was working here in New York in first-class studios before I established my own studio. What we would like to do now, one of her most famous, gorgeous portraits. Paul has a lot of work we'll go over soon. I would like to um, show you the Albert Einstein photograph. Paula, this is the most gorgeous photograph I have ever seen of Albert Einstein. And it's not because you're my friend. <laughs> it's a sparkling expression that I love. It's a candid photograph. He's thinking. He's animated. Tell us about about how this came about, how you took this portrait? That uh, I was lucky to see him on the campus, the university, and he was talking to students. So it was uh, candid shot, and it is quite natural, of course. It was in Princeton. And you took several? Yeah. This is the only copy he signed, right? But you did take several photographs. So let's see some more of your work. Besides being a portrait photographer, Paula is also a very incredible landscape photographer. And we'll start with some photographs that you took in Hungary. Can you explain this photograph a little bit? Can you see? It, that is a Hungarian village. And the man is taking care of all the cows of the peasant people in the village. And this is lunch time for him. <laughs> and the wife is bringing his lunch, but he's just now eating. He has the dog he's taking care of the animals. In a Hungarian village, the girl came uh, from the um, taking water. She is carrying water. A Hungarian village, a poor old woman with her dog and she didn't care much about me taking a picture so it is very natural this is also a hungarian village and that's a stork but this is a hungarian village too with a very old 200 year, year old famous church a romanian village with two peasant people 
traveled all over the world. I had a few, a few nice trips. Do you like to travel, Paula? Sure. Indian children in Canada. Gorgeous portrait work. A woman with the child on a donkey. Not on a horse, but a donkey. <laughs> When women in Morocco don't want to be photographed. Hong Kong in 1984. Tell us about this, Paul, your trip. Yeah, yeah this is Tokyo on the main street. 1984? Yeah. It looked to me like Broadway <laughs> because very crowded. <laughs> and we're in Hong Kong still? Yes. That is a suburb of Hong Kong. It's Austria. Yeah. And it's in a small town, the letter carrier. Iceland. Oh, Iceland, Paula. You went to Iceland. Iceland is most beautiful. Okay, we're still in Iceland. The lone man, the lone man, Paula. Very nice. Man with nature. Yeah. Okay, it's Greece. Mm. Beautiful architecture. 1975. Yeah, and just Greek columns are interesting. Mm -hmm. This is also very beautiful. This is also Greece. Paris, France. Kissing. What year were you in Paris, Paula? Do you remember? Oh, this it was one of my trips. <laughs> but I was very glad to have this picture, you know, this pose, because two young people kissing. And love is something, you know, what belongs to France. <laughs> <laughs> yes, vive la différence, as they say. Because yeah. uh, in front of the church, Notre Dame, in front of Notre Dame, yes. Jerusalem. Yeah, Beautiful. Jerusalem. No, and these are uh, the holidays when the Jews are praying, you know. At, yes. Wow, 19th on the Bowery. Right. So this is a body character, a reflection of Fifth Avenue buildings in the lake of Central Park. Which mm. museum, Paula? It is in the Metropolitan. Metropolitan Museum. This was taken in 1943. It's very beautiful. You really it's captured the it's essence. It's my favorite picture. It's your favorite picture? Why? Because it looks good. Oh. It's in um, it is Mexico. That's Mexico again? It is Mexico. Just what I saw on the street. The little girl's perspective. Going to church. Paula went to Vienna to learn retouching in pastels, a unique technique and in an era before color film was popular. This technique Paula mastered in pastels opened the door for her when she immigrated to the United States. Paula Bécsbe költözött, hogy ott kitanulja a pasztelretusálás különleges technikáját a színes film fénykora előtt. A technika, amit Paula magas fokon elsajátított, kinyitotta az ajtókat előtte, amikor Amerikába emigrált. Paula came to Manhattan in the 1940s and immediately went to the best photo studios on Fifth Avenue for a position. Paula is confident about her ability as a painter, photographer, and retoucher. Paula said, if you don't believe in yourself, why should anyone else? She heard Fifth Avenue was the best area and the third studio she went to hired her. They not only admired her retouching, but had never seen the past.